Hello guys, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well. How are we all? I am feeling quite sprightly this morning because I've decided to take myself for a little self solo shopping trip and I'm heading into Altrincham today. I've actually just pulled up outside HomeSense first of all. I usually go to a different HomeSense. This one is pretty good as well. I'll show you where I am, right here. Can you see it? I've seen a couple of things online or on people's socials that I really want to get my hands on. Obviously with HomeSense you never know. So here's hoping. But whilst I'm here I thought I would also pop into Altrincham and have a little look around. It's just a really nice little, if you're kind of like not from the area it's a nice little town with a few little independent shops some chain shops some bakeries might head to gales for lunch and i want to go to waterstones um i want to go to sostring green which is like that kind of um i think it's scandinavian isn't it scandinavian brand um for like homewares and bits and bobs i've not been in in this like kind of autumn season i also have a new color on my nails today um i did the OPI, well actually these are a few days old now, but I thought I would show you anyway. It's a new colour which I got called Bonfire Serenade. Yes, the name. <gasps> Bonfire Serenade. It's kind of like a bit more, a bit deeper than my usual neutral colour. So I thought I'd share that with you. But the OPI gel, I just do a DIY at home gel manicure. That's how I do my nails because I can't stand going to get my nails done. So that's on today's agenda. Tom is also actually, he's at home with Barney now for the day, but he is going out this afternoon evening for a meeting of which, depending on what we do today and what we get up to, may do a little solo cooking dinner. I'm just really craving, especially as it's super overcast today and just quite cold. <laughs> like my hands right now are cold. Um, I just am craving like a home cooked meal, like something hearty, something warm, cozy. You know what I'm really fancying? Soup and a cheese toasty. But I don't think I'm going to do that. Only because Tom's the best when it comes to making homemade soup. So I kind of leave that to him. And I make the toasties. That's our like relationship explained in a nutshell. He's like, homemade soup. I'm like, I can manage a homemade cheese toasty really, really well. Um, so we'll save that for maybe tomorrow night. Tom and I will maybe have that. It, do you know when we usually have that is when we've had a roast dinner. So maybe at the weekend if we have a roast, then all of the kind of excess veg and stuff he usually does into like a either a chicken soup or chicken and veg soup, that kind of thing. Um, or even just a tomato soup. Just, But anyway... We're not going to do that tonight. I will maybe pop into M&S and see if I get inspiration, but we will see. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. Coming along with me for the day. Sorry, my camera's just slowly but surely going further and further up. Um, there's nowhere really to rest it in this car. I'm thinking about getting a new car, guys. I don't know. I don't know. I really want, because the two of us have fully electric cars, I would quite like a at least one of us to have a non-electric car or at least a hybrid so that if we do any kind of like long road trips and stuff with the dog you know I'd love to go down to Cornwall I'd love to go up to Scotland dare I say it camping I'm not sure about that but we'll see just the the ease of just getting into a car and going isn't quite the same when you're in an electric car because I'm I'm overthinking everything I'm thinking at each services is there going to be a charge and not only is there a charge but is there one free or is there going to have to be a queue to charge and then you've got to actually wait whilst it charges which could be an hour or two and I just I would quite like to do more road trips but with a non-electric car so I'm thinking about it thinking about it I've got one in mind that I like the idea of let's head into home sense let's see if we can get my hands on a couple of things that i've spotted there's a candle that i like the look of and a throw both autumnal in other news this has just reminded me the range is now dog friendly i saw on their instagram last night they posted it and i was like oh barney and i need to take the trip to the range okay here we go they seem to have removed all of their halloweeny bits so i think they are oh no Tell a lie, they're over this side. It's kind of giving autumn over this side. Oh, look at that throw. 
it's not the one I've seen online but lovely and cozy and pumpkins yeah there's lots of like autumn colors and tones over here almost a bit more if you prefer the kind of decorating for autumn without the full-blown Halloween let's see if they've got this throw that I've spotted they have this cushion which looks lovely I saw one of these in a different home sense but it was actually um it was damaged but obviously this one isn't is $24.99. See this wreath as well, again, it's more like autumn shades and tones. If you wanted one on your front door for now, and then get a more pumpkin-y one or Halloween one for Halloween, that's really pretty. Anyway, I don't think I'm in luck with the throws. I do like this one, but it's not the one that I'm after, so I think I might leave it. But they've got loads of other nice ones. It's just the one that I've seen is more those kind of tones also they've got those little pumpkin glitzy cushions up there as well really really pretty uh, what else do they have a few bits in nothing brand new i can't see oh that sign is new i've never seen that before it's only 5.99 For those of you that saw my vlog when I showed this H&M basket at $12.99 and were upset that I didn't get one, they do actually have a couple more here. I also love these tartan blankets. They are half price or just over half price from the tartan, I think it's the tartan blanket company. I did see the label earlier. just uh, driven over to the town centre now to have parked up and um, yeah didn't get successful in a home sense with the candle and the blanket but I did find another candle that I love the look of how gorgeous is this little wooden guy he's like a dark wood mango wood pumpkin it has a slight smell. What is the smell? Pumpkin spice, but it's not. For a pumpkin spice candle, I actually really like it. You know, sometimes with pumpkin spice, they can be too, like, overpowering. This is lovely. I thought I'd be able to burn it this year, but then reuse and keep the pot in future, like, for future years. $19.99. I think the rain is just about holding off, so we're going to risk it and not take a brolly. Might regret that. <laughs> Cut to me later in the video where I'm at. A drowned rat. <laughs> I'm just in Waterstones and I always think these are like great gift ideas for um, like Mother's Day, Christmas, birthdays. Gift it to them and they can use the prompts and the questions to fill it out and then gift it back to you. I also love the idea of this. This is literally, like it says, a journal for list lovers. And I've had one like this in the past and you essentially just fill it out a list a day um, and yeah, kind of again, you follow the prompt and uh, write lists. <laughs> I feel like you'll either get that or you won't. This is a classic for me. I have been filling this out for the longest time. I have a couple of journals that I do daily, but this one I just kind of dive in and out of whenever I fancy it. And again, you just have a bit of a morning gratitude, evening reflection, and you can date it whenever you like. So um, yeah, love the look of that one as well. It's 
looks nice sat out. So you know how I love to look at gift cards and like have some in storage. They have quite a few good gift cards here. Um, I love this one. We heard there was cake. And then also they have this from the same range. Amisha Gardener, cut out planter markers. What else do they have? But these ones are all fun and lovely. Like little illustrations as are these. These are the sort of ones that I would pick now to like pop away so that I've always got some nice cards to use. So I obviously already love Vex King. I've got his first two books that I've read and a journal actually, but I've never seen this one. Things no one taught us about love, how to build healthy relationships with yourself and others. Is this a new one? I was hoping to get a new, because I loved it the Freedom at Fadden books so much, the Housemaid trilogy, as well as this one I loved, Never Lie. I was hoping to get another one, but these are the only two that they've got. The Perfect Sun and One by One. One by One sounds okay. I, this one, which one's meant to be good? The Inmate, The Teacher. Um, let me know if anyone's read any of those, um, but neither of those are jumping out to me. Maybe one by one, but I feel like I'm going to get it on Amazon because that is the only selection they've got of Freedom McFadden. A bit but I'm just heading to before I go to Gales I'm just checking out a couple of charity shops to see if they've got any Freedom McFadden books but also I'm just going to pop in now to a little homeware shop home book that is lovely How nice is that? It's called the Chelsea. It's a lovely colour. And then I love that vase up there as well. I'm going to go see how much that one is. Oh, in fact, there's a label here. It is 55. Oh, I love how they've styled this table as well. Little um, kind of green touches. Just looking at this table, it's only 295. And I love the colour of it. Really, really nice. We've been struggling to try the Big Daddy. Walchingham is clearly the M&S to go to, but look guys, they've got all the Christmas treats out. But they do actually have a little halloween -y section as well, so I might see if there's anything that takes my fancy. They look pretty good. Spooky cookie dough bites. Oh look, they've actually got little pieces of um, like little mini M&M type chocolates in. We made it, no drowned rat, although it's actually quite warm. So is the way, isn't it, September? Schools go back, teases us with some autumn drizzle and overcast weather and then <sighs> I'm hot. I am drinking a hot drink, that might be why, but I've got myself a little mocha for lunch. <laughs> mocha for lunch. <laughs> wow, let's see if I can stand you on my Stanley. Mm. I mean, not the best angle. Oh, I just thought I'd show you what I've got my 
my lunch. I did pop into m and and I did get, I got a girl dinner. <laughs> I got a girl dinner. Because I figured home cooking for myself kind of feels a little bit like, I might as well do it when Tom's here. So um, yeah, I'll show you what I got later when I get home. But for my lunch, I treated myself to one of my faves that they do the tomato and artichoke quiche it is so lovely like the pastry is just so thick and divine i did also get a little sweet treat for later and got myself one of the strawberry and ricotta cakes they don't look the most appetizing but guys sensational and i remember last i don't know if it's a seasonal thing although if it was a seasonal thing i would have thought they'd done it already i mean it's still summer maybe they'll bring them out in autumn but they do that kind of a cake but i think they call it apple crumble and it's so good the strawberry and cotton one is nice as well but apple crumble anyway i paid for my parking two pounds we're gonna head home now and um i'll show you the bits that i did pick up when we get back home hello puppy hi gorgeous boy hi are you so happy? Are you so happy? been here all along we are back home and i thought i would show you the couple of bits that i got so firstly obviously you saw the candle that i showed you in the car from home sense it's not for you it's not for you um but i also found another pumpkin in the shop home bird which i told you about um gorgeous little shop i don't love the branding and i think that's why in the past i'd never been in because the branding lets them down that to me screams like just a small little independent you know like when you find in like small villages there's always like a independent shop for like gifting and giftware and it's lots of tiny little knickknacks well no homebird has loads of like furniture bits and gorgeous homeware pieces so i got two things from there i got this little pumpkin and it's it's like a, a little ornament, but I love the fact that it's got this leaf on. And can you see, it's not like a perfect pumpkin. It's lots of, it's very regular. It's quite um, a good size as well. And it was only, it was only 6 .95. And then I was so happy to find this. If you remember from my Zara haul that I did recently, I ordered a wooden topped honey. Tom, you'll like this. Okay. I'll show you later. Um, a wooden topped honey uh, drizzler thing that comes with the inbuilt drizzler. If you saw my Zara haul, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Anyway, I ordered it from Zara and they sent the wrong thing. Rather than faff and try and figure it out and order the... <laughs> Sorry, am I boring you? Rather than order the same thing and the same thing happen again, I thought, you know what, just send back the thing that they sent incorrectly and... I'll think on it well they had in fact I prefer these ones and they were cheaper so they had these wooden lidded drizzle pots so you pop your you decant your honey into that so there's no stickiness you know like sometimes with honey it just it's such a mess this just helps it stop um being messy 9.95 each one was different but i quite liked this dark streak running through it and yeah i just i was so so happy with those two purchases and obviously m and i picked up these so i have these later i also went into just before sostrin it was just in this bag but i went into the works and i did find a freedom mcfadden book they had a couple actually but this is the one that I went for. They were in the three for six, but the others that they had were the ones that I saw in 
Waterstones and all of the housemaids, but I did, I've obviously already read those. So three for six pounds or two pound fifty each. So I thought I'll just stick with the one at two pound fifty. And it's called The Inmate. Are you ready? As a new nurse practitioner at a maximum security prison, Brooke Sullivan is taught three crucial rules. One, treat all prisoners with respect. Two, never reveal any personal information. And three, never ever become too friendly with the inmates. But nobody knows that Brooke has already broken the rules. Nobody knows about her intimate connection to Shane Nelson, one of the most notorious and dangerous inmates. They certainly do not know. Oh, there's a bug on it. Sorry, I've just seen it. It's just a tiny little fly. Maybe jump there. It was literally over the words as I was reading them. They certainly don't know that Shane was Brooke's high school sweetheart, the star quarterback, the golden boy who's serving a life sentence for a series of grisly murders, or that Brooke's testimony was what put him there. But Shane knows. He knows more than anyone, and he will never forget. The inmate is a propulsive mind-bending thriller about how we define guilt and who has to pay for it from sunday times best-selling author frida mcfadden that will be next on my reading list i'm going to finish the second actor of the actor series called mist and fury i'm about halfway through <laughs> so we're getting there it's just they're just such chunky books for me and also they require a lot of brain power because there's so many different characters and areas and worlds and I do enjoy it. I enjoyed it more than I thought I would, but I'm just slow at getting through it. That's the only thing. I probably ought to discipline myself a little bit more to reading more of it. I probably read a chap, I need to do a chapter a day, bite size, but I end up doing, um, like I'll pick it up and think, just get through a chapter. I get through a chapter and think, yeah, and do the same again tomorrow. And then tomorrow comes, and the day after, and the day after, and I probably end up reading one chapter a week. Soft strain grand. The first thing that I found was this flower pot or plant pot, and I just loved how different it is. I also loved the colour of it. The other ones that I've got are dark in colour, but this one is obviously like a lighter beige. It's got kind of semi, almost scalloped edging, irregular edging, really, really pretty. And it was £5.44. The other thing that I bought was this hand soap. I had a quick sniff of this in store and it smells lovely. But I also checked it's clear. And I wanted a clear soap for decanting into... Oh, it's lovely. Decanting into my hand soap in the sink. So I'll do that now and show you which one I'm talking about. But this one is in the scent Forest Symphony. And it smells insane. It was £5 something oh there we go five pound 58 but it smells fab forest symphony as you can tell it's very kind of pine woody beautiful so that's everything i bought not the biggest shopping haul ever shopping trip ever and we could do a bit of a walk and then come home for a nice cozy evening together
delivery. I've got two parcels from Glossy Box, which is unusual because obviously you only get one usually, and it looks like it's going to be the same one as well. 2024 September box. We'll see, shall we? If they've maybe accidentally sent two. Okay, so inside September's box, let me just move a bit closer so I can show you. Liquid IV hydration multiplier with seven vitamins and minerals in here in the flavor passion fruit. There's also a brightening mask from Frankled Youth Lab. St. Lux makeup setting spray. Mud Masky, Mud Masky. Scalp soothing. What is this? Is it like a conditioner, like a hair mask oh lms we've got lms products in here dynamic resurfacing facial wash and from mua makeup academy a velvet mac mac <laughs> matte liquid lipstick let me just unbox the second one and see if it is the same yep exact same okay well yeah same color and everything in terms of the lip line everything about it is the same the only thing is, is obviously I've just slightly ripped the tissue paper there just to open it to check. But, you know what, I'll give both of them away. So if anyone uh, wants this month's glossy box, a little freebie, just excuse the fact that I ripped the paper. Anyone that wants the glossy box this month for free, I'll pick two random winners. All you need to do is just let me know in the comments below. I do prefer it if you guys can if you're on instagram leave an instagram handle just because it makes it a lot easier for me to be able to reach out to you if i pick who's the winner to be able to get your address securely so that i can send it off to you just on a little woodland walk ahead of um a cozy night tom's just gone to his meeting so i thought i would get out have a bit of evening fresh air take barney out he's over there barney very obedient dog so he's like just let me have a sniff and explore please i'm just back or i should say we are just back barney and i have just been for a nice dog walk nice evening stroll very windy actually very blustery today um I'm gonna get ready for bed. It is 5 p.m. <laughs> get ready for bed. I'm gonna get comfy and get cozy. I'm gonna jump in the shower, take all my makeup off, get into some fresh pajamas. I've got some new ones from Tesco's, these piped ones. So I will start by taking off my um, the bulk of my makeup with just a couple of cotton pads i just have these small rounds at the minute which i hate using because they're too small <laughs> um but it was an emergency purchase i had no more reusable ones left um because they all needed to be in the wash and i didn't have any spares so i just these were the only ones that were in the shop like just local to us so i had to grab them um but yeah i'm going to just remove all my makeup especially my eye makeup with micellar water first. I'm booked in actually, I can tell my Botox has worn off since I last went to see Dr. Ahmed. And I, I notice it, it like all of a sudden starts to just disappear. <laughs> and I find myself squinting a lot, frowning when I'm taking my makeup off, like my creases in my forehead and I'm like, just relax, relax. But yeah, I've booked back in with him in October for a little, just a little top up. I only get baby Botox if you've seen. It's just a little bit quite high up so that I've still got movement of my brows and things, but it just helps any, like the makeup not set in any deep set wrinkles. But anyway, that's a chat for another day. And then I'm gonna go in with the Elemis cleanser today, the Pro Collagen one in the fig, the green fig, which smells lovely. So I just, get a bit of that i'm gonna do that off camera because i'm actually gonna do that on some naked just before i jump into the shower so i will use that and then i will in the shower i've got a brand new uh new product to use the neon real luxury cocooning shower cream and i love neon products i've just ran out of the spearmint eucalyptus one which was lovely but this one's lavender geranium and cedarwood so 
a bit more less fresh and more evening more cozy and i'm actually gonna throw my hair up because it doesn't need to we don't need a hair wash tonight so i washed it yesterday so i'm gonna throw that up and out the way jump in the shower and then when i'm out the shower i'll show you what i do with my skin better lighting if I turn those lights off. At least for the purpose of doing skincare and showing you guys what I use, I feel like that's a bit better. But anyway, we are showered. We are back in fresh PJs and we have a clean, freshly cleansed face. So what I will go on with now is just another cotton pad. Annoyingly, I was talking to you about my new nail colour. I hit my um not hit my got my finger caught in Barney's lead on that walk and it just started peeling off and I was like no so I've just taken it off I have to redo that one so ignore that but I'm going to use the Paula's Choice Exfoliate Exfoliant 2% BHA liquid exfoliant so it's like basically I think it's like salicylic acid yeah you can just use your fingertips or a little cotton bud and I just run it across all my skin as if it was kind of like a toner that's how I would use this. And it helps just keep pores unclogged. Especially if you can be, like my skin can be kind of, I wouldn't go as far as saying acne prone, but I do, I can suffer with breakouts if I'm, if I don't kind of use something a bit stronger. I also love the, uh, this cleanser. I don't use, I use like one or the other. So depending on which one, I do. I kind of just alternate days. I either go in the Elemis Cleansing Balm and that, or if I've not got any makeup on to remove, then I will just use this one and then not use the Paula's Choice. So this, because this is basically salicylic acid as well, but this is a cleanser, the Abaji uh, Cleansing Dam. Then I go in with my serum, which is from uh, And Begin. And I just go in with a few pumps of this. And also take this down my neck so kind of just press it into my skin a little bit and then like i said bring that right down my neck to help with fine lines and wrinkles this is the body milk cleanser that i use by the way and i can confirm the neom shower cream that i just used smells incredible i actually think i prefer it do i prefer it to the mint one I kind of wish I had both so that I could use a mint one for like a daily shower, morning shower, and then that one for the evening with the lavender. Just smells lovely. And then I will go in with my final step, my moisturizer. I've been loving the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. This, especially for during the day, is lovely. Sometimes I don't even use a moisturizer. I just stick with the serum. Um, but I do feel like it's been a bit breezy today and I think the colder weather can bring dryness, so, and as can using salicylic acid, because obviously it's drying out your uh, skin to prevent oiliness, to keep pores from remaining unclogged. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's gonna finish my skincare for the night. I'm gonna get cozy. I don't know if I'm gonna have a my jack of potato until a bit later this evening because I'm pretty full and it's still quite early but I did want to taste one of those cookie dates with you on camera to let you know my thoughts so let's go downstairs now try one of those and I'm gonna see if I can find my um let me see if I can find it and I'll show you what I'm gonna do this evening show you these bits that I got from M&S. Firstly, this is the jacket potato that I'm gonna be having for my dinner that I was telling you guys about that they do. Yeah, five and a half minutes in the microwave. I've seen that these are meant to be really good. I've seen this that it's hot chocolate season. If you've never tried this as the, um, sorry, there's a smudge on the screen, one second. If you've never tried this, 
within your hot chocolate velvetizer or however you make a hot chocolate m and do these milkshakes. I like this one, the vanilla and white chocolate one, and then Tom prefers this, the Belgian chocolate. That, with your chocolate flakes from Hotel Chocolat, rather than just a box standard milk, is like double overload hot chocolate. And topped with, if you wanna go extra chocolatey, they have their whipped cream that they do in a chocolate form. I do sometimes like just the plain standard one, so I got one of those as well, but the chocolate one is just like, extra extra sweetness if you're wanting to go that i'm not going to go with hot chocolate tonight just purely because i've had that little sweet cake i'm going to try the other uh the other things that i got from m s as well so it's a bit i don't know a bit too much sugar over there Oh, look how shiny my skin is from that moisturizer uh, we're gonna try the spooky cookie dough spooky cookie Fudgy cookie dough bites with candy and brownie pieces and robed in white chocolate. Let's just try one. Probably will demolish this whole bag, I'm not even gonna lie. I'll save a couple. Oh, they look like the ones that come in the tubs. Okay, I would say it's more fudgy than cookie dough. Mmm, it is good though. Can you see it's more fudgy? with a hint of cookie dough, with the little chocolate pieces surrounded in white chocolate and then milk chocolate. I actually don't think I'd be able to eat that whole pack. <laughs> I'm gonna give them an eight out of 10 purely on that basis that they are quite sickly. But maybe that's a good thing if things are too sickly because then um, it's gonna prevent me from eating the whole pack. But as you saw, I've lit the candle, set the scene. I thought I would dig out this from the storage room. Which, if you remember, I got at Christmas time, and I loved the idea of having the Home Alone house as part of my Christmas decor. So if I start now, then hopefully we will be on track to having it for a Christmas decoration, like a part of the decorations and look if i don't get around to finishing it there's always next christmas but yeah i'm in the mood to set up on the dining table i'll move the tv around because we can pull that tv out so i can sit and watch harry potter do you know what i should watch i was going to say the home alone movies but i can't i need to save them for christmas time harry potter i feel like you can get away with in september it's kind of autumn winter movies home alone i've got to save for christmas Thank you. 